Welcome to Reader Syndicate 3.0, the next evolution of the look into counterculture that is canon. My name is Matthew, owner of Riot Seeds, and this started as a one-man mission for strain history and breeding science. Over time, it's evolved into something bigger, better, and more of a team effort. We will be joined by members of the Can Illuminati and other friends throughout the seasons to hear their takes on grow techniques, breeding science, strain history, and more. Our mission is to combat the narrative that corporate cannabis and seed posers are obfuscating for their own financial benefit. Welcome to the underground. We are the Syndicate. Welcome to Breeder Syndicate 2.0, where we explore the history of a clandestine scene, researching everything from cannabis strain history, old smuggling tales from the first... Okay, fuck it. Um, yeah, that, neither one of those was the right intro. <laughs> what? I just like, fuck it, let's go into it. I'm here with the legendary Chucky Pollen, um, trying to get to the bottom of this beef a little bit. See what he's up to, where he's from, where he's been, what clicks yep. he's rolled with, all that good shit. So, uh, welcome, Chucky. What's up, Matt? I'm glad you finally, you know, take a second out of your busy ass, important life out there in Cali to fucking acknowledge a homie. You know what I mean? That goes way back. You got out the pen. Dude, you blew me up. I kind of had no choice. It was nonstop. You know, I I don't think I told you. Your mom ain't filled you in yet. But I did go back to the pen for a little while. You know, you're going to laugh. laugh. I didn't need to steal it, bro. But I did go to fucking Kroger a few years back. I was already, you know, on probation and shit for the other stuff. But anyways, I go to fucking Kroger and like, man, there's these eight ounce steaks, this Wagyu shit, bro, in the, the frozen <laughs> section, bro. And like, dude, I had these sweatpants on. And normally, like I said, I wouldn't fucking do this kind of shit. But I slipped them steaks in my pants. Next thing you know, dude at the front's catching me. And anyway, I try to run, steal him, fucking get locked yeah. back up. But that's why I hit you up. I just got out of jail, bro. And I need Hemmed to up on to- Wagyu charges, huh? Bro, that meat. I just like good meat. You know me, bro. I'm trying to steal the dude's meat. You try to steal yeah. a man's meat. You're going to go to jail, bro. Fuck Kroger, bro. So stay out the fucking meat section. Yeah. But I've been, but anyways, I had time to think locked up and shit. I started rapping and shit. I did some other stuff, but I was thinking like, you know, we go way back. You always told me like when I, it, you, you hit me up when I first got locked up or whatever. I don't think you remember. Uh, cause you go. I don't me. remember. But you told yeah, I me if, I, if you told me, bro, if I ever needed, I don't think I, we ever spoke. I swear, bro. You hit me up at that con or whatever. When it may have been. Maybe, maybe. Whatever. You hit me up. But my thing is you told me like, Bro, if I never ever needed help, just to hold my head, and when I get out of well, being locked up or whatever, you you'd help me out. So here we are, bro. Was I standing in front of the Cali Connection booth, and was my eye a little wonky, bro? Do, do, do you any of that in your memory, bro? I'll be honest with you, I didn't have no bread on me, so I didn't go to none of your booths because your shit was hella expensive. Remember in the bathroom, I caught you in the bathroom where you had the urinal. I That's was the right. guy, the guy with the Kim crosses and shit. I was trying to get you to do the collab with me, bro, but you. You kind of like low key diss me, bro. Low key, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I'm not even sure if that was you. It was a man. He had on a, it looked like a disguise of some sort. I don't know if you were really trying to be super low key yourself. You know, it, it's then in there, bro. You know, like I said, I had time to clear my head in jail and shit. And That's I, right. I, you know, you got me on the show. And I, before we get started, I wanted to show you how much of a big fan I am of, uh, like, Discord and, and Denali and shit. I got the Mazola shirt on. He's, oh got my shirt. God. He's got a shirt just like there. There you are, bro. That's <laughs> your fucking face, bro, on my shirt. I don't know if y'all can see this. Shirt. Is that a Mazola shirt? That's a Mazola shirt That's with my face. Mazola shirt right there. There it is. Matt That's Mathers. good looking. That's good looking. Matt Mathers right there with the, with the blonde hair mid dye. <laughs> Anyways, I know you got some questions for me. We got some questions lined up from the Discord. Some of the people from the Discord got some questions for you, maybe me. We can rock out whenever you're fucking ready, pal. Yeah, you know, the first one sent in, I think the guy's name was Auto Growers Only. He wanted to know when you started puffing tough. Puffing tough? You mean like big shit, like traditionals and shit like that? Because, well, I ain't gonna lie, you guys. 
you know, people going to try to diss me. And a, a, a very wise man in Discord once said, uh, you know, people always going to remember where you started. Okay. So sure. I, I'll be honest. I was a closet auto grower for a long fucking time just because of my growing situation and an illegal state back in my home state of Kentucky. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I had to get that little perpetual harvest going. But, start, you know, as far as puff and tough, you know, uh, I've been fucking around. I wouldn't even consider myself a grower, bro. Like, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say I'm been the grower for 20 years, shit like that. Because, like, I really didn't start growing until I started fucking with the autos and shit like that. But, mm-hmm. like, as far as my, like, how I got involved with the game or whatever you want to call it, it goes pretty far back. Uh, I mean, it's a long story. I don't know if you want me to get into it. Ramble it away, please, please. I well, like long stories. Like I said, I wouldn't even consider my grow myself a real a real grower until like the last probably like I don't know, like ten years or something like that. When I in my early twenties though, I used to hustle, man. You know, little dope boy, whatever, make some extra dollar here and there. Yeah. Shit. Get back in Kentucky, bro. Anyways, uh, you know, let me let me bring this up. A lot of people. They see me, I see what I'm about. They see I'm talking about Kim Dog and I do it for Kim Dog shit like that. They say, like, you don't know what Kim Dog is. Like, who the fuck are you? Like, dude, you don't have the D. Like, you don't have the 91. You don't have the sis. You don't fuck around with that shit. You don't know anything about Kim. Yeah. Well, you know, you wanted me to come on. You wanted me to come on here and tell the story of how I, what I know about Kim and how far yeah. back and shit. But, uh, tell, I tell me you. about Kim Fam Kentucky. Is that, is that what we're talking about here? Yeah. Well, I'm trying yeah. to get to it, God damn it! Give me a second. God damn. Well, Rambler. I always, like I said, I dabbled a little bit in like growing, but I wouldn't even consider myself growing. Uh, I'm a third generation grower, bro. My my granddad uh, smuggled, you know, a lot of like brick weed and shit up from Mexico on the back of a Harley Davidson, shit like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, my, my dad, he did a little bit or whatever, but. So like I consider myself a third generation smuggler, of, or if I don't eat, you know, anything. But anyway, yeah. through my connections and shit, hustling back in Kentucky, you know, in the streets and and all that, uh, I got I made a couple connections. And one of my good buddies, bro, uh, I ain't gonna say his name. Let's just call him Tink Tink. Tink um, Tink. My buddy Tink Tink. Uh, me and him, we ran around. You know, like if I was ever dry, I'd go to him. If, I, if he was dry. Cause in Kentucky, bro, you have like these crazy dry spells back in the fucking day, bro. It was nuts. Like, and I ain't trying to have no real fucking job. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to really yeah. live like that and, and just hustle and, and, you know, fuck around with the girls and, and just smoke big blunts and shit. I know y'all gonna make fun of my blunts, but I like blunts. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Kentucky yeah, tobacco. Mixing the tobacco in. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, uh, my buddy Tink Tink, like I said, we fuck around for years and years. I'm talking like childhood shit. We've been smoking weed together on and off since like eight, nine years old. He's the first guy I smoked cigarettes with. Like, yeah, first, first guy, guy first threesome. Me and he, we ran trains on these girls, all kinds of shit, dude. But anyway, yeah, it was when you were like ten, right? That's just like all the time, bro. Throughout yeah. high school, shit like that. Anyways, long story short, to the Kim shit, we we fucked around with a lot of plants, but the main thing. I wanted to talk about here because I see a lot of your stories on your little videos. People talking about sure. Kim, Kim fam, where did it come from? Was it, the, you know, all this stuff. And I just wanted to say my piece, my piece you know, like I said. Uh, well, anyways, Tink Tink, he's cool with ICP. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, Insane Clown oh, Posse. Shoot. Yeah, Juggalo Life. You know anything about, you know, you know about the Juggalo Life, bro. I know a little bit about the Juggalo Life. Nice, bro. Uh, anyways. Uh, he's like cool with them or some or like banging one of the dudes like sisters or something. I don't fucking really remember, bro. It's been like 20 plus years ago, but this yeah. is 96, right? So it's like they're kind of ICP's like been around since like 89, but they they're like kind of underground at this point, kind of blowing up, but not not really like mainstream, mainstream wear. So they're doing like house parties and shit like that out in the middle of nowhere in these fucking fields and shit. Are they still wearing makeup? Uh, bro, like I'll be honest, I didn't even see them, bro. Like I just showed up for the after party shit. I was, I don't, like I don't really fucking listen to that music. No disrespect to them or whatever, or, or they're cool. Uh, but uh, anyway, so Tink Tink's like, bro, you got to get down here. Every time I say this, it's Tallahassee, Tennessee. Everyone, every time I fucking say this, they're like, dude, don't you mean Florida? Like, no, I actually mean Tennessee, bro. There's a bumfuck town. It's like three buildings out in the middle of nowhere. And, of course, ICP's out there playing a show, bro. Of course like, they are. Why wouldn't they? 
I get there, I get lost, bro. I don't even get to see the fucking show, right? I'm pissed, bro. And mm-hmm. I, back then, bro, I I look like I do now. So like, I had weed on me, but it was like up under the underneath my truck and shit. So like, I didn't smoke like all the way down there from Kentucky. I'm going out. I'm driving. It took like fucking six hours to get there. I get lost and shit. Missed the little like house party show, and I get there. And you know, tink tink's been blowing me up. I ain't got no fucking service shit like that. Yeah. Like, I get there though, and I randomly start getting ser- service, and he's hit me up like, "Bro, you gotta get here. The the, the bud is crazy, bro. There's girls with big titties. They're out. All this shit like that." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would imagine Juggalo, Juggalettes. I like I said I didn't see them or whatever. They were already gone, but the after party was going on, and I I pulled up. Finally get there, meet with Tink Tink. I start like mingling with the people and shit. You know, they got fucking booze. They got beer, weed, like hard stuff. Like these guys are going crazy, bro. Like titties out, all this shit, dude. I'm the pros have their titties out. No, the the, the <laughs> I, you know I don't want to get canceled nowadays, but let's just yeah, say people that's had true. their boobs out, bro. Yeah, yeah. And I'm fucking, I'm like 22, bro. Like this fucking, you know. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Tink Tink's hot, you know, like, dude, like, you know, get, you know, chill, whatever, have a good time, stuff. So I'm mingling and stuff because a lot of these guys, like, are dealers and shit. And that's kind of my space because I'm trying to get in, you know, you know, you know how it is when you're fucking around. You want, you always want to, like, have a, somebody else, like another dude, another plug, or whatever you want to call it, somebody you can kind of tap into just in case your people get, you know, something happens. Like, I've had plenty of times where my people have gone to jail. So you need a new, like, a new guy or whatever. So yeah, I have sure. to. Always trying to mingle, and I'm thinking to myself, like, it's an ICP, like, it's a band. Maybe they got like some sh- back then in Kentucky, bro. You couldn't get good, it was so hard to get good smoke. So, I'm on a mission, right? I had mission. good smoke a few times, and I'm on a mission. They're tracking down, so I'm going all over the place. I'm going out of state, doing runs here, there, whatever. Back to my point, Tink Tink, hard in all that. ICP, I don't see them, don't really care, having a good time, mingling with some girl, getting some phone numbers, shit like that. Nothing too crazy. Anyways, you know when you're at a party, bro, and in, there's like a party in the party, and you like when you're, yeah. you want to be, like you want to be in there. Sometimes you don't want to be in there because there might be like, like straight up dude on dude banging. I don't really yeah. know. It happens at some of these parties. The party at the party. I, I go in this this fucking shack basically, but it's a glorified shack basically, bro. And these fucking cats are in there smoking i'm thinking they're smoking some hard shit or whatever because it's like that vibe and yeah Tink yeah Tink's waving me in he's like come on in here bro mouths to me like so nobody else sees whatever i slide in there real quick i walk in bro it looks like a fucking a fucking fog machine bro like it's gone off in this fucking room right and <laughs> yeah i'm choking up bro because like i said i'm my eyes are watering I'm thinking there's something fucking foul in here. They're doing something wrong. And I'm like, what y'all doing in here, bro? Still, I had these glasses on, and I didn't really realize it because I was fucked up. It was real dark in there and shit already. And yeah. like, we're getting high, bro. Like, sit down for a second. I'm like, all right, word. So I sit down with these cats, and I'm like, well, you know, I'm thinking to myself, like, what's so fucking special about this weed that, like, nobody else can be in on it? Because, you know, they're like, shut the door, bro, all that dumb shit. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, like, I want the girls to come in here. You know? Yeah, right, right. Because it's, it's me, Tink Tink, and then these three cats I've never met in my life. And they're, like, you know, got the tray out and rolling up. And, it, dude, I, all I know, I look in this weed, like, it's hitting me. Like, what the fuck is the smell? It's the weed, bro. Like, the stinkiest, like, gassiest, like, foul. I don't even know how to describe it, bro. Like, yeah. it's, it's hard. You know, 20 years ago, it's hard to even put it put it in like i don't even want to try to like you know put it into words but it was some of the best weed i had ever seen at the time sure and, and i'm as you know start passing joints from back and forth and shit like that i hit it as soon as i hit it, I was, <coughs> you know i'm dying bro and me i back then i'm fucking like borderline crackhead back then so like for me to cough off a, a joint you know i was like what the fuck i was like is this is this shit straight you know what i mean i'm asking yeah. I'm like what's in this bro Cause I'm thinking like my I think my, you got my, dusted. My friend Tink Tink, he's wild. Like these cats are like real rednecks, like out in the middle of nowhere, like with you know weaponry yeah. and stuff. And uh, he's like, dude, it, there's nothing in it, and I'm hitting it, bro. And like within five ten minutes, I just feel this like, like 
buzz come over me, bro. Like a, a head buzz, like a body buzz, all that. And I'm sitting here like kind of freaking the fuck out. Like, but I didn't want them to know, right? Yeah. Because I'm the new guy. Not. And I'm I got new guy, but you gotta be cool. I gotta be cool, dude. Right. Yeah. So I gotta be cool. Like, and uh and Tink Tink on the way down there, he's like, dude, these cats are like big shit, bro, like deadhead. Like, all that. I'm like, all right, okay. Like, I didn't really know what that meant at the time. Like, sure. looking back, it makes sense and shit. But anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm hitting this shit. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck is this? And they're like, they're like, Kim dog. I said, Kim dog? They said, yeah, like Kim. Like, chemical dog. Like, Kim dog. I was like, what? Kim dog? What the fuck? What kind of name is that, bro? I'll be honest with this. Like, now it's, it's, it's. It sounds cool to me, but back then I thought it was kind of lame. Lame. Yeah, thing. yeah, I could see that. And like, Tink Tink's like, bro, this is it, you know. And I'm hitting it or whatever, getting fucked up. And back then, you know, main it's she didn't have names back then, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like the fact that it had a name to us, like redneck boys from Kentucky, we're like, ooh, this is cool, you know. I didn't like the name, but I was like, I was joining enjoying the weed. I was getting high as fuck. And, uh, you know, just having just a good dudes. time. Just dudes, having, though. Just dudes. But and at some point, like, I'm kind of feeling a little nauseous. But, and I'm thinking, like, dude, there's beautiful women here. Like, I'm like it's cool. I appreciate y'all smoking me up. But I already had my weed with me and all shit. And uh, Tink Tink, he, he gave me a little nug or whatever. And uh, so I go back out to the party and start kicking with these girls. I'm fucked up for, like, three or four hours, shit like that. Go to bed. Next day wake up go home hit tink tink up like dude what the fuck did i smoke because i had all kinds of shit up for me and like it didn't really hit me until like the next day like that was that was fucking that was it bro yeah I hit, dude i hit tink tink up I'm like what the fuck was that and where can i get it bro and he's like kim to hope and i'm like yeah dude what's the shit we smoked last night and he's like you know talking about like oh you know you, i can't meet these guys and they're big deal shit like that but yeah he said i'll he said, I'll give you your phone number. And he gave me some fucking fake name or something. I don't know. It's a call. And uh, back then, like, you know, on the internet, shit like that, or Discord. So I call this dude. And it's like real shady, awkward conversation. Talking about how I need to send him $500. He ain't going to give me a zip. I'm mm -hmm. sitting there thinking to myself, a zip for $500 fucking dollars. You know, I'm 20, 22, bro. Yeah. Working, yeah. Like fucking Wiznos and hustling. And like, to me, like... <laughs> Like brick weed, like back in the day, like 300, 350 for me. And like, I make good money back then from that. And I was like, yeah. it's a gamble. But I was like, I'll hit him back. I told dude, I was like, I'll hit you back up and think about it or whatever. And I tried hitting him back up for like two, three fucking weeks. This motherfucker don't answer his phone, bro. I'm thinking like, oh, I done pissed him off. You know how it is? Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure. You meet a new guy and you're like, dude, trying, especially when you're young, because like these cats were older than me. And I was like, you know, I don't want to fucking look like a nerd to these dudes or whatever. Yeah, you definitely don't want to look like a nerd. Right. So I, I just played it cool, whatever. I, I, But, like, I don't like that third week I'm calling, like, dude. I start calling a couple times a day where finally this motherfucker answers. Like, what? And I was like, it threw me for a loop because I've called so many times and he fucking answers. And I was like, you know, I sound like a little girl, like my voice crack, like, huh, it's me. <laughs> He's like, what you, who the fuck is this? How'd you get this number? And I had to spend like 30 minutes explaining, you no, know, like I've already talked to you. You told me this, this price or whatever. Now, of course, the price jumps up $600 an ounce. Damn. You know, like, Fuck. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was like, let's do it. Cause I, at this point I'm already in, I got the dude. And I was like, I might not hear from this fucking dude again. And uh, he's like, I won't mail it to you. Right. Send me your money. He sends me some weird fucking address i sent it off dude it, like i'm waiting like three months i think i just got ripped off bro <laughs> my mom got three months three months what my mom my mom had, my mom had just gotten the divorce thank god because like she wasn't she's working a lot so she wasn't on my shit if i was yeah. still living with my mom and dad like my dad would have been on it and seen it but she knocked on my door one day i was still living with her like hustling out that the crib or whatever and uh she's like there's a there's a package here for some i forget what name i use or whatever and I was like, what? It just hit me like, oh, oh, that's from one of my friends or whatever. I, and so she, get, you know, gave me the package and shit. And uh, I go to open it, bro. And like before I even open the box, I can smell it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and my, yeah. 
my dad fucked with weed and hustled, but like my mom's like kind of churchy, right? She don't yeah. know nothing about weed. So, but she's like, what's that? You know, like the rest, as soon as I got, got him fucking with it, she was like, what's that smell or whatever? And I was just fucking with it because I fuck with people. I was like, it's the Kim dog, mom. You know, I was just fucking <laughs> with her. And she, she didn't know. What did she have to say? She didn't, she was okay with that? Well, like she's, she's cool as fuck. Like my mom, she's cool. I live with her right now, actually. She's, yeah, I, yeah. She's cool, but she's She's texted like, me too a few times trying to get you on the show. Oh, yeah. 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 I thought you were trying to joke on my moms. I was about to say we have problems, but no. No, no, uh, no she really did. I, I'd have her come up here, bro, but she's doing shit. She's yeah, kind of, but busy. she's kind of an airhead, bro. My point is, my mom's an airhead sometimes. And like, she, mm -hmm. bro, I was growing one of my first grows ever, not to get off on a tangent, but I was growing like PC grow, like in little boxes, shoe box grows in my closet, bro, when I was like fucking 16, fucking around. I, was, I know I don't like, I don't consider myself a grower because I've like, I've started to grow so many fucking times, bro, and would get to a point where it's like, I'm about to flower, you know? And yeah. I'd, or I'd be renting a house or something. And like where I'm at, you get caught with weed, bro. You're where I was at growing up, you're going to fucking jail big time. So I'd freak out, landlord show up, whatever. So I like, I never really consider myself a grower. So I just, that's why I naturally gravitated, gravitated towards like the hustling aspect of it, just trying to make a dollar or whatever. Anyways, uh, back to my story. I send the money off. My mom drops the package off in the room, stinking up the crib and shit like that. Like I said, thank God my. This is me and my mom living together at the time. Uh, anyways, greatest experience in my life. Greatest weed. Same weed that I had at, at the fucking ICP little like party shit. And ain't no fucking Diddy party either. I know people in the chat probably be like, yeah, they're fucking around up there. No, it yeah, ain't. yeah. It was just chill shit like back in the day, bro. You know, just two, just guys and girls, just some orgy shit, but not like Diddy shit. But no, yeah. But so I find a few seeds in this jar, bro. I like two or three or whatever. And I'm like kind of dabbling and growing here and there. And I'm thinking like, this is fucking the best weed ever. And back then, bro, like, like some, like what was it, like BC Depot or something, some of the Canadians. Yeah. BC it, it, Depot. Bro. I, that shit was sketchy, bro. I had them knock on my door yeah. before. Still I, is. It, dude. Yeah. Anyway, I ordered seeds from them before from Canada, bro. And like the postal people would knock on the door and shit. And my dad would be like, I didn't use fake names, and my dad would be like, why the fuck are they like, well, what is what is this shit? And I'd be like, I don't know. It's like, So I could never successfully get seeds to where I was at, bro. So, like, in my mind, I'm using bag seeds, and I'm like, dude, this is the best bag seed I ever fucking seen in life. And so I hit the dudes back up thinking, like, man, I need more of this shit, bro. So yeah. I, another, like, month or two fucking around, another $600, and I get I get another zip. And in between these two zips, bro, I come out with like 20 seeds, but after I pop them all, I end up with 15 seeds, bro. And that's, that's what I call them. Sometimes the 15 is what I call them. Kim 15s, whatever the, the, yeah, you know, each one. Yeah. I didn't know at the time, like CSI and all, I didn't know about like, you know, Kim four, Kim one. I didn't know about that shit. So like looking back now, I feel dumb. Cause like, but do they really matter? Those other ones? The chem I mean, through, do they matter when you've got know. chem one through fifteen? I really? can't speak speak on them because I ain't never grown them in particular. Yeah. But like, what like from what I was what I knew at that point, you no, know, there's no internet or shit like that, and you ain't talking to nobody about this shit. Because like you got to, you know, most of the time you got to, especially anywhere I was at, you got to dudes that you supply to like middleman shit, right? And you're not, mm -hmm. you're not like talking about this shit to nobody really, other than maybe maybe like one person, like. But anyway, so I get the seeds. I call it the 15 or whatever. And I start growing these seeds or whatever. And I'm taking cuts. So I just learned, I was on like 420 chan or I was getting like all of them. I don't know, like I'm terrible at dates, but like overgrow and all the shit started slowly coming out over the years. So like, yeah, I learned about like cloning and like, you know, propagation and like how to, you know, how to keep genetics alive and, and the importance of that and i'm reading on there and i'm seeing these cats on there talking about like kim and shit and it freaked me the fuck out honestly because i ain't trying to register to like the you know i didn't want to really register and be on there like that but i did like to yeah the shit. self docs yeah yeah and uh so i'm reading on there like about kim and kim 91 and the d and the sis and like all this shit and it's blowing my fucking mind because i'm like is this the same 
shit that I I got or like what? Yeah, of course. Right. So I'm sitting there thinking like, what the fuck do I got? Right. And it kind of like sent me on this quest, bro, to like, you know, meet up with cats like y'all and and, and try the different the different cams out. And, and over the years, of course, I've traded different shit. You know, I mean, well, this is about the cam. We'll get we'll get into other shit maybe in another podcast. But you know, over the years, I've traded other shit. I so I ended up getting the sis, the D, the ninety one. You know, and like I said, I got packs from CSI of number one and the four. I ain't fucking popped yeah. them yet. But so as I'm going through, you know, the year, always, you know, 10, 15 years, I'm like reading this shit and like kind of, you know, just like I said, just want to know what's up. So uh, I get with a few cats from the Discord not too long ago. And of course, everything I got is legit. Uh, all, the, all the cuts I got were, were real deal. We compared. You know, compared notes, notes and cuts, and, and yeah. try to get other samples and shit like that. But the interesting thing, dude, is my one through fifteen. They're fucking. They're so close to all you know the, the different cuts, but they're. I would argue that they're a step above all these because, like, <clears throat> that would make sense. Well, Kentucky even on the, even on CSI's website, bro, if, if you go in there and read about the ninety one S ones and shit like that, he says, dude, make sure. You take a cut because these are going to probably be better and can produce better cuts than the parents. There you so, go. So I'm thinking maybe the 91, I'm thinking some of these cats got S1s and or whatever. Maybe I don't know because I do got a little bit of variation in my 15, but they do have that Kim, you know, that rotten, just fucking tomatoey, rotten flavor. I don't know how to, I'm not good at, uh, describing since I, I smoke too much tobacco and shit like that but yeah, yeah but who cares about terps anyways but that's kind of you know kind of where we're at you know I've, I've been wanting to come out recently because i see a lot of these guys i'm not gonna mention any names or whatever but people who are in the game or in the industry that maybe have brought kim to the forefront shit like that they're on here talking about runts shit white runts no disrespect i saw you did your white runts matt i'm not <laughs> dissing on you I, I get it. You got to play the game to win. But but what all I'm saying, bro, is that I feel like they're disrespecting Kim, bro. My Kim's fucking. I can it. see how you, you'd come to that conclusion. It ain't even. Well, it's not even about my Kim's, bro. Because I ain't selling my shit. And ain't none of y'all getting no fucking cuts either. So don't be asking me shit. Don't be asking him, please. But, but at the end of the day, these guys out here fucking smoking Mylar bags booty hole runs and shit like that acting like it's the bee's knees bro yeah. that, that is you remember when when good weed was green bro yeah yeah used to be these guys remember when people talked about like sour hazes og types og typers typers yeah you can't you can't even find an og no more no it's really people, hard well people want that now it's, so my thought is these cats that brought Kim Dog to the forefront, they ain't really respecting Kim like they should, bro. And my thing is I want to start a movement where we get Kim back in the forefront, bro. These guys out here talking about Kim auto flowers, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's not respect. That ain't respect. No disrespect, but you know what I'm saying. Like, Yeah. These, this generation coming up right now, they need to know what the fuck is up with Kim, bro. It don't matter if it's Sis D ninety one, one four whatever, bro. Anyways, that's I see people. We wanted to bring this up because people are, are always shitting on me in my in the DMs talking about I don't know what the fuck. What the fuck do I know about Kim, dude? And all I all I want to know is what the fuck do y'all know about Kim? You know, right? I challenge any one of them guys to get on here and talk about it. They won't. Yeah, any one of them, they won't. Anyways, they're scared. I don't know, bro, but that's that's really it. I mean, if you got questions for me about it, I, I'll try to fill you in. You know, I, I'll tell people all the time, I don't know fucking everything, bro, but I sure do fucking know a lot. Like I said, I I, I joined up with y'all. I'm being for real, though. I know you I, are. Yes, you are. I joined up with y'all because I want to get better at growing. Like I said, I you know, that's why I'm here, bro. And, and for the past, like, probably, I don't know. 10 years i've been like i said i consider myself a grower but like really these since i've been out and before i got locked up again i was really going hard at it bro but 
that's, so, that's basically it on the Kim stuff. Well, you know, one of the one of the most interesting questions I thought, since you were talking about being a third generation smuggler, uh, we have a guy called Sheets on Fire asking, uh, "Your first prison smuggle? What, what was that experience like?" Y'all gonna call me whatever, but when you get locked up, bro, and you're looking at like losing everything, you'll do some wild ass shit, bro. You'll put shit in your. I mean, let's just be real. Y'all are. Y'all are OGs. Y'all know what it is. I've, dude, I've loafed, straight up keistered loafs of, of stuff up my butt, bro. I ain't gonna say yeah, what it is. It ain't it's hard. Stuff, but I put stuff up my butt many a times, you know, being locked up, especially like, especially when I know I'm going in there for the weekend, bro. <laughs> sure, I am putting shit up my ass, bro. Cause I know I could go in there on the weekend, fucking like, dude, I could take a half zip in there, bro come out with three grand dude like shit, like for real bro and they know me in there bro the guards and shit are like yo they're like what is it uh, january 7th bro they like invite me in type shit like let me do what i want to do bro it's insane dude but That's yeah I crazy could, i could go on in on the weekend dude the fucking steel riders in the window warriors in there love me bro like i'll just say that let's just say yeah that, that dude People who don't know what that shit is, I'm going to explain it to you real quick. A, a fucking window warrior is somebody when you go to jail, bro, and, and you're fucking, they, they're getting you in, and you're walking back to the cell, bro, and there's the glass, bro. Some jails, you know how they got the glass right there in the yeah. front. You're getting taken back, and they're just pacing back and forth. There's usually just one guy, maybe two guys, and, and not really the biggest cat ever either, but they're just, what, they got their shirt off, and they look fucking deranged and shit, and they're walking yeah. back and forth. And like doing this shit to their glass and like sizing you up, bro. And then but, but when you see them in the fucking, you get in there with them, bro. And they get out a, a lock up. They get in there with with on the floor with you and shit, bro. They walk up to you like, hey man, my name's Steve, bro. But like the hardest cat you yeah. seen ever in the window. Steel Rider is somebody that don't give a fuck. Straight up will sit on a steel toilet in jail. You got steel toilets, bro. You know because yeah. they don't want you making shit with whatever. Yeah, and, for sure. In the cell, bro, I'm sharing a th one toilet with 40 cats, bro. A steel rider is a guy, and I guess a girl maybe, because let's not be be like that. This is 2024, bro. Yeah, uh, you're right. Is they will sit raw dog on there, not even clean it off. Like, there'll be shit all over the rim of the toilet and stuff. And they don't even give a fuck. That, <laughs> that's how you you earn your steel rider wings, bro. <laughs> have, you, have, you, have you gotten them? Yeah, Have you made steel rider status? I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't go into depth about it. But one one That's time, true. my 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 bunky he made some moonshine, bro. Sorry, I'm getting hot as fuck, bro. My oh, bunky, man, bro, I see that. My my bunky one that. time, bro, he made some moonshine, dude, out of like some fucking Kool Aid and some I don't know, whatever. But we got we got lit in there. What would you ask, bro? I'm getting off on a tangent, bro. Hey, it was about your first prison smuggling. I think you covered it pretty oh, well. Yeah. Yeah, well, Keister, bro, Keister did every, anything and everything because in, everything in jail is worth, like, five times more, bro. Yeah, in ramen noodles, I hear. Bro, if you want to talk about some smuggling shit in, in, the, in there, like, most of it's happening, like, when you go, like, you want to be part of, like, uh, work release, bro. You know what I'm saying? Where you get yeah. on, on the roads. Bro, there's fucking people that will just drive up to you, bro, and be like, man, y'all are out here killing it in the heat. I'm proud of what y'all doing, you know, serving your time and fucking just hand you like a fifth or some, bro. Hand you other shit too. I ain't gonna bring that up though, because yeah, you know, priors or whatever. But but yeah, the best time is when you're out there cleaning up that trash on the highway, bro. Like shit goes down, bro. A cat a cat can get fellatio. You can make dude, like I said, bro, you can make a lot of money in there. Yeah, just even doing work early, huh? Yeah. Work really shit. I usually get in a fight though, bro, and run that quick. You know, you start liquoring yourself up and getting out there in the heat, bro. It's easy to get pissed. With them. Especially you got cats in there that are fucking detoxing, bro. You ever been in the, the pen with somebody's coming off that shit, bro? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. No, not in the pen, but I've definitely been around real detoxers. I, I don't know if I can get my pant leg up, bro, but I actually got a fuck. I got stabbed, bro. Can y'all can you see that scar? Yeah, that's he stabbed you in your, your shin. Bro, I try, I try to kick this dude, bro. He beat me, bro. 
<laughs> he bit you? Bit. So that's not a stab. It's a bite. Yeah. Anyway, smuggling, bro. If you want to talk about some smuggling real quick, I can get some tips real quick to keep y'all out of, out of in trouble. For I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe in YouTube land that might not work so well. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 We'll, we'll get into it maybe on the – I don't want thing. you catching any heat either. That's true. I, well, all that's behind me, bro. I'm, I'm free and clear. I live in a legal state now, bro. I do legal shit, okay? That's good to through. hear. Yeah. Anyways, I'm off the tangent. My bad, bro. First prison cuddle. From First pumpkin pal cuddle. for you. Yeah. Bro. I'll I don't be know a, if that's a nice question or unauthorized. Like, normally, I would fucking fight somebody asking that shit, bro. But yeah. this is a podcast, and y'all know y'all like the juicy details. This is only the juicy time, deets. Only time I've ever held a fucking man in jail, bro. It was when my cellmate's uh, uh, mom died, bro, uh, while he was in there. And yeah, then his that's, that's rough. His fucking baby mama got killed, too. And then uh, he cried like a baby. I held him, and he held me. Uh, but that's yeah, friends, I mean, though. That's good bro, friends. When you're in there, bro, that, them motherfuckers are your family, bro. You know? So it's okay to hold each other sometimes. I, I mean, dude. I've kissed a guy in jail, bro. Like they look, I swear to God, look dead up better than any girl you see. I can promise you anywhere out where the fuck you're at, dude. There are yeah, these dudes in there are on another level. You could get anything in there, bro. You want it. It's just like on the street. You just got to pay for it, bro. Just kind of pay for it. You got to come in with the big money, big yeah. money jams. Um, someone asked the first time you had to knock a grow. I don't know what that's about. Knock a grow? Like, finish yeah. It? What's that mean? Knock, knock a grow over. I think, like, like, like get like, rid of it. No, take someone's stuff. I believe. Oh, uh, well, my mom. I guess. Well, let me think about that, cause, uh, cause you know how, dude. In small towns, you think like people always. I, dude, I used to get into it. People, they think like, oh, you know, you ain't from the city, fool. Like, there ain't nothing. You ain't. You don't know what that life's about, really. But like, where I grew up, bro, like. You had like crews just like you got out there, but it's like way more personal or personal because like you went to school with these guys, like every one of them, right? You know all of them, you know all the dudes or whatever. Yeah. So like it it's sketch, bro. And like like out there, bro, a lot of times you're meeting these guys in like back roads, like nobody around, you know, pretty easy, you know what I'm saying. Like, anyways, back to knocking yeah. groves off. I didn't really do a lot of that because, bro, that's not really my style. Like, a lot of times I just hustled for what I what I needed and, and did it the best, like, the right way I could do for hustling. But, sure. like, my, my, I will say the one I could share, I guess, is my stepdad. Well, he wasn't my stepdad. My mom's boyfriend for a while. This dude, I ain't going to say his name or whatever, but he kind of fucked around or whatever and was, like, growing weed back behind my mom's, like, duplex or whatever. And uh, I didn't know anything, so this is kind of dumb for me to even steal it, really, because, like, it died, like, right away, bro. But he had, like, some plants out there, and me and my homies, he's a dick or whatever, like, kind of like an asshole to my mom. So I stole, we stole his plants, but, like I said, they died, bro. Like, they died, so, like, it was dumb. I don't know. <laughs> oh, so, okay, oh, good. I, I was just going to say, uh, you know, when I was in high school, bro, me and, these, me and my buddies, we were growing next to the railroad tracks a little bit. I don't even take credit for it because, I mean, I just would be there smoking weed or whatever. But uh, these other guys that were kind of cool just, like, end up stealing our plants because this dude in our group kind of, like, ratted out our spot. And uh, they took, like, our plants, and then they started growing. And then, like, we found out where their spot was. And then we went and took their shit, you know. kind of. That's about it, really, bro. I didn't really steal. I'm not, I'm not a stealer, bro. I'm not into all that, really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't. You don't really look like a thief. I would say you look well, like more like an upstanding citizen. No, my, my 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 dad and my granddad always told me though, like one thing you don't fucking do is steal. You know, steal people's shit, bro, because it might come around on to you. And man, dealing with uh, people with addictions, bro, like you know, I've had a lot of my stuff stolen a lot, and yeah, man, I right. work hard, bro. You know, I. I I hustle and shit, but I've had jobs and shit too, bro. Like, you mentioned Quiznos, bro. I've mowed grass for a living for years. I fucking, I've I've modeled a little bit at a time. I can see that you're doing it right uh, now. 
looking good. Bro, I'm trying to get the sponsors to hook me to fuck up, man. Like, yeah, but, dude. But they for weed, you know. I see these guys trying to make it come up off the weed game all the time. And I'm sitting here thinking, like, dude, I need my piece too, bro. Like, I did my shit. I did my time. Like, what the fuck? Right, right. You know, you mentioned that in the texts, as did your your uh, relative who kept texting me, blowing me up to have you on the show. Bro, I appreciate you finally giving me the nod. Like, like really, I, I thought you were mm-hmm. bullshitting me. I, I kept telling the mom, like, Matt is coming through, bro. Bro, just like that ounce of the, the Kim back in the day. Like I got impatient. You know, I got a problem, bro. You do. You have a little problem with the the patients. I got AC or whatever ACDC or whatever it's called. Yeah, like, yeah. Shit like that. But yeah, bro. But that's my Kim story, bro. Uh, and smuggling. As far as smuggling, I've done a lot of smuggling. You know. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep it at that. All right. Well, if, since we're live, if anybody has any questions from the audience for. Chucky, get it in there, right there. Um, ask away, and um, I'll keep my eye on that. You got any of the Discord questions loaded? Logan? My name loaded. ain't Logan. Loaded. Chuck and Paulin, bro. My <laughs> real name ain't even Logan. Get it right. Let's see here. It's not. And I don't want to say your real name on the... Uh, oh, that's all good. Uh, so, we got a question from Screws. Scrooge him. What's he want? He's got three questions. All right. First question is, can I touch your butthole? And I'm guessing he's talking to you, bro. I think he's talking to you. That was This was actually for you. The only time another man has ever touched my ass when he's helping me keep something up right before I'm going in, bro. Yeah, That's dude. Right before I, going in on accident. And you got that one friend you can call that, that will help you because he's been through the same shit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that one, um, one guy. He says, have you had, have you had any experiences – Harvesting something earlier than usual. I'll go first. Go uh, ahead. Yeah, lots of times, bro. When you're making seeds, especially, uh, you know, some people like to take their clones, you know, but some people like to start with the seed, grow it out, clone it, you know, and, and work from that. Uh, I like to do it a little different. I like to, I'll take a plant, the seed plant, and I'll grow it out. And instead of taking clones immediately and just scrapping the mom plant, mm-hmm. uh, I kind of want to see what the mom's going to do, just what the bud's going to be like, what she's, you know, what she's about. And then I'll, I'll go ahead and take that up. When you're working with regs, especially, I'll take that opportunity to go ahead, since I got the mail usually right there, I'll yeah. go ahead and, and use that opportunity to hit, hit them with something so I get some kind of seed out of it. So now I'm not only going to have clones, but I'm going to have, uh, you know, seeds of stuff too. So um, as far as, you know, taking stuff early, for sure. If you're doing a seed run sometimes and when you're making uh, seed for yourself, especially when you ain't selling seed and you only want so many, if you do mm-hmm. it early enough and you don't, the bud, maybe the bud isn't what you want it to be or maybe whatever, you know, you can run into problems, pests maybe even, or even you're outside and you, you don't want to run into certain weather conditions. I mean, there's a time where you do it, but mainly for me, like I've taken shit when I just want to get the seeds. I, I, I check to see if I got enough mature seeds that I want and I'll go ahead and take it and just have my clones going or a revenge or whatever. But yeah, I mean, there's times you could do that for sure. I don't know. What about you, Matt? I mean, you, you pretty much covered it. I'm just watching your, your blunt rolling skills here and seeing if you really. You know, I can roll a blunt in about 26 seconds, but this fucking weed I got right now uh, is kind of like real fluffy, like haze like, you know, and it, and it, uh, I'm trying to pack it thicker than I probably need to, fam. But what, what was that first thing you smoked out of? What was that? Was that food that you? This, fam? Bro, I was about to munch on this fucking sandwich, dude. <laughs> My mom got me some sandwiches and shit. But then I got to, I was about to hit that. And I was thinking, yeah. like, damn, like, maybe I shouldn't eat on the podcast or whatever. My mom treats me good, dude. My mom treats me Oh, my good. God. Like, what the fuck? What kind of is that a bagel sandwich? What is that? Egg bagel? It's a a steak uh, grinder or what do you call them, bro? Up here in Michigan, bro, they make the subs up here, bro. I don't know what they call them. I'm from Kentucky, bro. I'm a red. I don't know what the fuck this shit is. I know. I know a website called Grinder. I think subs, I subs, grinders, all kinds of sexual yeah. shit. No, it's a that's a sub, bro. They like grill. It's got steak and cheese and peppers and shit like that. Sounds delicious, it's, dude. It's fire. How do you uh, keep that 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 figure? Eating stuff like that, bro. It's from fucking 
working on these plants all goddamn day, bro. I, I don't work out or nothing at all, bro, but I'm I'm pretty I'm doing Not even in the pen, like you don't get your sets in? I did in the pen, but now like I got so much shit going on, it's hard, bro. Yeah. I'm just trying to make a dollar, bro. Like that's the main focus. Like working out is one thing, but making a dollar. But let's jump back to the question. Uh, yeah, good. Christian says, besides blue stuff, what hybrids are you most excited about looking through and why? I don't know if that's me or you. I think it's probably <laughs> you. But I think you like blue too. I think you yeah, are a, a blue champion. I got blue, bro. I actually got a I got a few jars of blue. A couple jars of blue on me. Uh, I got the nice. blueberry IX. I got three of them on me. I was gonna pull out at some point and share if we had time. Nice. I should have rolled that in here. I didn't think about it. Bro. I didn't even I, think about it. What are you rolling? That shit's seated though. I did seat it with the males. The so it's like you know I got nice. But uh, but uh, to, for the answer to his question, besides the blue stuff, what hybrids are you most excited about looking through and why? So, I mean, for blue, I mean. He said besides blue stuff, but blue stuff, the blue resin, I think, is probably my next thing. Or maybe the, uh, was it blue sour? Yeah, uh, good stuff. Just because, like, I do like a, I do like that blue flavor, man. Like the, like the, but I want someone a little bit more potency, I will say. Uh, yeah. My particular expressions I got, I, I like them. The flavor is great on the IX. But I think, like, I did hit, that's why I hit them, because I figured I would have to hunt them a little bit. And also, like, I did get some really nice color, but not the color I wanted. So, like, yeah, I made enough seed to like hunt through them. You know what I mean? But um, and most hybrids, most excited for, bro. I did. I mean, I just cut down my rank stranger from H and L, high lonesome. Uh, I had two of them outside, bro. And somebody said, is it Gojo or Mojo? The orange hand uh, hand cleaner stuff that's kind of gritty that mechanics use. It's, it's not real orange smell, but it does have that orange citrus kind of smell to it. But one of the plants, one of the rank strangers got that like chemically like uh like orange kind of like hand soapy kind of smell, bro. Not soap so much, but that I think it's gojo is what they said. Somebody in this mm. But I'm excited about smoking that as far as growing shit, bro. Uh, I'm growing a lot of a lot of stuff from the guys from the Discord. I mean, I'm excited about everything I'm growing, dude. I only grow shit I'm excited about. You know, I mean, I'm not. Why selling. would you waste time doing anything else? Yeah, like what the fuck? Yeah, I mean, I'm excited about it all, bro. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know if I. Anyways, we can jump to some next questions. I mean, yeah, let's do the next questions. Who list list a bunch of shit off? But uh, if you could go back to one line you made and start a new project from it, what would it be from Sean? I'd probably do the the st strawberry cream stuff again. Which isn't, yeah. which is still berry, because I guess I guess that's where I reside. Did you like? I know you've talked about it a little bit here and there, but from years of doing drugs, bro, my memory's terrible. When when what what is that name? Just the name to get people to 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 buy, or do, does it does does it have like a strawberry cream? Uh, no, flavor? it's super 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 strawberry super. Um, CBF got it. Um, I think it was a, a strawberry cough. S1 mm -hmm. from a lady named Golden Eyes. I think it was like, you know, it's the internet. You don't really know, but right. um, Golden Eyes uh, was on the forums back in the day. And she did some strawberry cough S1s that had r males. Um, so, yeah, that's where it came from. But it did, it did carry a much stronger uh, strawberry expression than even strawberry cough. And really? the flavor was there. Yeah. Have you so I'd probably go back and do that. That's cool, bro. Uh, have you, have you? The next question from me: Have you messed with uh, CSI's uh, S ones of of the cough? No, but it would probably be a good, almost a better place to look because it would be more pure. Like I think that the golden eye stuff was probably a pollen contamination with all the males in it. Word. Okay. Yeah. yeah I think I picked some of them up or a pack of it up. I, I missed that one when I locked up, bro, for a while. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> I just Hopefully, mom grabbed you some. Yeah, yeah, mom. She don't really. You say mom? Yeah, your mom. Hopefully, she, she grabbed me some. She don't smoke really that much, but she will go buy seeds from me. I, I use her use her money a lot of times, you know, because when, especially when I first got out, you know, gotta help a G. Is out. anyone take EBT right now? For what is it? Seeds? Does anybody take EBT for seeds? Bro, I wish, man. That'd I'll be amazing. Right? 
uh, I, I do got a UBT card, but I don't even use it, bro, because I'm like my ego and shit. Because like, I can't just like accept yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll, I'll fucking hustle my shit up, bro. You know, I mean, I hustled you onto the show, so like, we're here, bro, right now. Um, you, you did. So let's jump into some more questions, I guess. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Dogs and Trees says, "What was the line slash cultivar that made you decide?" to go all in on breeding. I'd imagine the, the bonnet stuff, but maybe it started before that. Oh yeah, no, it was, um, hog's breath, hog's breath, the old San Diego hog's breath. And that's where I started really learning about breeding, breeding. Um, yeah. Clockwork orange was the fem, the best fem stuff. That was when I really, really tried to nail down a line, but the hog's breath stuff from, from Jimbo, it's awesome. Yeah. It's cool. Hell yeah, dude. What, what's the hog's breath like, like, bro? Like the turds, the like, can you talk about it? Anywhere from cheesy, I've seen fruity expressions in the S1s, um, foot funk. Just, uh, it's hard to explain, but like, even how Shoreline can go through those fucking different, I don't know, I'm trying to reference another old rare clone is kind of hard for most I people. I think I know what you're talking yeah. about, though. Like that kind of like, it does some of the shit I've been fucking with recently has got this almost like um, a fermented oceany like smell, bro. That's yeah. like a, I don't know. Uh, the Irene S ones from CSI. I, I just did. Uh, I only had three to make it. I mean, the packs were like three hundred fucking dollars. So I only got one yeah, pack. Man. But uh, I, I I had one that came out like that, bro. Uh, I I would pull it up here, but we get like fucking. YouTube strikes us every time we show any kind of weed weed plants, but yeah, I, I'm actually got got clones of them. And uh, but anyway, my point was it had that like funky like. The only thing that I can maybe, you know, maybe that's what it is basically. Yeah, it is. It, it, it it's um that's sweet. Foot almost. funky. The actual clone though is foot funky cheesy. Foot funky. Okay. But not like cheese the clone. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, cool. it is its own little unique indica thing. Do you? Do you still have any of the the work that you did uh, with that? The last stuff I had, I gave to Bitter, and nice. he has. And it was the Master Hogs Coast. So it was SoCal Master, um, which is like a Bubba Northern Lights type, um, uh, OG Kush, and Hogs Breath. That's cool. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Shout out Bitter, OG Kush. Bitter. Bitter. Ooh, bro. He's uh, a real one. Salute him. You know, uh, I think, you know, I can't really comment on that, but I think one of the first packs that I popped, bro, was from CSI that made me, like, want to dive deep in into just learning more about weed, bro. You know, I think, I don't know, man. Yeah, I was just sitting there thinking about that from not really a breeder's perspective, but just wanted to know more about the plants. So I popped, uh, I think it was, like, Girl Scout cookies, Cali O, something else that had gotten in a trade that was CSI stuff, bro. And when I popped them, you know, I've been fucking with autos a lot at that point. And when I popped them, I was like, damn, dude, like, these are cool. And uh, I just remember the Girl Scout cookies were cool because I grew them, like, four or five of them in a small, like, two-by-two two with, like, a 100-watt light, bro. And there was, like, some of the densest, like, it grew so well in there under that low light. It just worked great, dude. And made me kind of be like, damn, this shit's cool, bro. But You anyway. like the cookies, huh? You're a cookies fan? Well, at the time, you know, when you're talking about autos, when you fuck with mainly like autos, uh, and Kim's the only other thing I got, I've, I've had really, that I, I've been, you know, kept this long. So it's like, I love Kim, but I, I, over the years I've tried stuff, you know, because you know how it is, bro. Before the internet and Discord, I get conned into buying all kinds of shit, bro. I, like, these cats out here telling me, like, this is the new shit. This is better than Kim and all this shit. I try to try shit. I don't even get high, bro, anymore. I go to the dis. I went to the, these fucking dis, uh, dispos or whatever up here, bro. And they're talking about like the dude, you know what I mean? The dude out front, like, bro, you trying to get a free joint, joint on it of the run? <laughs> and I tried it. I'm not going to lie. I smoke bunk, bro. You know, shit. Yeah. We all do. But yeah, I mean, just fucking ain't nothing like good Kim or OG sour. Uh, haze type shit like that. You know, I'm still learning, but anyways. Well, yeah, think, what else we got? 
Well, y'all got to remember, I, I locked up a lot of shit. So when I get out, some cat might say, like, yo, this is fire. I try and this is bomb. Anyways, uh, we got Cranky Danky says, if you could travel back in time for one year, what you in in time for one year, what year are you choosing? Where are you going? And what are you bringing back with you? Ooh, bring back. I was thinking about traveling to, to, to I don't know. Um, bringing back, I bring back real blueberry now, and but I, I'd probably go to Humboldt, 1978, or or even the the Pacific Northwest, 1978. To see the early uh, Afghani infestation, see what that yeah. shit was like. I'd probably go back to when Rob Clark. I, I hung out with Rob Clark. Oh yeah, Rob are you guys friends? Clark. Yep, good friend. Yep, Clark. yep, good friend. Shared a fishing trip together, dear friend. Yeah, that's true. This is true. Yes, he. My point is, I'd love to go back and meet him when he was my age back then, or you know what I mean, like a twenty-year-old dude. Yeah, be cool. Just hang out with him, smoke some. Yeah, food. go back and see the early pearl. That'd be nice. Yeah, and Pollyanna. Yeah, all that stuff. That'd be cool, bro. Yeah, that'd yeah. be fun. My bad, I forget. This is usually thousands job, y'all. Yeah, I know. He's asking me questions. This is supposed to be about you, but yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I, anyways, we'll, we'll make it work. Uh, he, we got a question for you from, uh, I can never, Digidube or whatever. I can never say this shit, right? Uh, have yeah. you started smoking again? Yes. Yes, I have. Very slowly. Very slowly. Trying what to reintroduce. Smoking? Um, uh, someone sent some of the... Um, I think we called it swampy blue in the end, which is the the white cross to blue bonnet, and then some of the blue in cross too. Yeah. Hell yeah! Slow, starting slow, making sure I can. Because I had a few, I had a few close calls at the beginning where I was like, "I'm not sure, man. I'm starting to get sick and pukey." So, well, yeah, it, it's okay again. It's okay again. I just well, might have been nervous. I'm I'm glad you're back amongst the smoking uh, peoples, you know. Yes. But yeah. Uh, so we got, uh, am I, you know, I, you know, your boys always smoking. I'm smoking. Yes, always. always. Uh, <laughs> we got another one from dogs and trees. that says, which settings for age, location, preferences, etc., Should I put my grinder on for the best chance and matching with Matt guys? <clears throat> you want to, I mean, I, settings for the grinder i don't right, know like that the website you got matt, you got matt the blueberry fucking king on here right now you're talking about fucking grinder bro grinder what is grinder anyway that's my bro you don't want to know bro that's don't want to know i haven't heard of this site is it's it a site maybe it's it the, yeah, the lo- it. connections love it might, connection. yeah, maybe i'm on it i don't know maybe i don't know let's we'll see <laughs> anyways we got one from bittersweet the og king Yes, oh, the pollen timing in regular breeding difference in like short flowering and long flowering on how it affects seed production. That's a great question. It's a great question. So, um, you know, like usually like in my brain, I put it between 10 to 14 weeks or actually eight to 10, sometimes seven, which is rare as fuck the seven to 10 and then 10 to 14. And then you got 14 to 22 kind of. Um, you like pollen to hit usually at four weeks for the for the Afghani dominant type, which is almost everything we'll see, you know, unless people are going to smoking like haze hybrids, like real haze hybrids. Uh, right. 10 to 14 are some of the more hazy hybrids. Like we're talking about like um, like even the mango haze stuff, the the electric boogaloo mango haze from High and Lonesome, stuff like that. It's uh, seven, six range. And then longer than that, dude, you can hit it 10 11, 12, because that shit will just flower forever once it goes longer than that. Uh, you know, I thought this was a good question from my, from, from what I had for uh, H&L, and maybe you can speak on it too, but, you know, something I didn't realize was, you know, or it's not even a question, I guess it's more something you can speak on, but I didn't realize that if you're growing outside and you get, maybe by accident or on purpose, you get seeded bud, that, you know, that can cause like bud rot and shit, man. Like, no, oh, yeah. I didn't ever even like, cause you know, you think like this is a natural process, like kind of in a yeah. way, maybe not natural, but 
you know, but yeah, I never, I never knew that 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 was a thing. And I talked to H and L about it and he's like, sure. Yeah, dude. Like you could get bud rot or rot from just the seed. And there are like you said before, the fucking seed will grow up out of there sometimes or whatever. <laughs> yeah. It looks like alien bud, bro. And it has a bunch of, uh, the tap roots flying out all over the bud white. Yeah. yeah. I've never seen that, but that's, that is wild, dude. Yeah. Uh, it's weird looking. Yeah. As far as, you know, uh, auto pollen that maybe people care about that we'll speak on some auto shit in this podcast dude it's your boy you're the auto uh, king you know at one time but <laughs> as far as autos i mean dude some of the males especially like you're more like you were saying the more indica types i guess you call them or dominant varieties yeah uh, shorter shorter types or shorter flowering period uh, autos if that makes any sense uh, uh yeah. there i mean dude males are dropping anywhere from like day 21 to like <laughs> like i'm like seriously yeah, yeah, I've, yes i've had no, shit, no. yeah like real fast dude week, yeah. week three to week four uh and then you know your females they usually can take around there too like maybe a little bit like week four for sure but i mean and then they're they're just like your normal plants as far as the time it takes them to mature for the most part right i mean they just, yeah, you just let them run as long as they need to or really six weeks, yeah yeah, or yeah. Long they too. and i do what you taught me to do bro uh you know you've always told me growing up back in the day bro don't check back the top the buds check the bottom ones bro because you know if the bottom ones you check, if they're mature you, the rest of the plants probably yep. mature. yep top ones always first and those inner knuckle elbow ones i think they're called primordial seeds yeah those yeah. are always done first so they're tricky you see those yeah. coming you're like oh nice and brown nice and yep. you know sturdy and then the rest yep. could be all immature yeah that sucks That's Something I thought was kind of interesting, bro, and you got, know what? None of your audience probably gives a fuck about this, but I thought it was cool. I had some autos, bro, that I uh, that I chucked some pollen on, right? And I chucked some your blueberry IX onto a blueberry auto, right? Mm, nice. And what'd you say the primordial shit, like the the yeah. pre? I hit those with the auto pollen, right? Yes. This sounds crazy because guys in the chat gonna be like contamination, contamination. But I got the answer for you, fucks. All right, there we go. Here, let's hear it. When you you can do some cool shit like that, though, because you take, like I said, you hit the autos, or you could do it. I did it both with both. Let me let me let me simplify this. So if you got an auto blueberry, you got the, the and an ix blueberry, right? Mm -hmm. You could take you could do it either way. But I took the male blueberry ix and hit it mm -hmm. to the female primordials, right? Yeah. So every one of them, which ended up being like fifty to hundred, yeah, is a hybrid of that. And yes. then I hit the uh, rest of the top of the buds with the, a male blueberry auto, right? Yeah. And it's just as simple as like I'm not selling seeds, so contamination shit don't matter so much. So what I when I'm popping them at the end of the day, I'm just popping. You know, if they start flowering early as fuck, I know that the auto. Yeah. Yeah. The auto. That's true. Right. It's. Yeah. And I'm doubling up on two. Have you ever done anything like that? Yeah, probably not, because I know y'all. Not, not not with blueberry to to blueberry right. autos, but it's because that's actually two different uh, traits you're working at the same time, breeding for yeah. blue and breeding for auto flowering. It's uh, two observable traits, so it's not it's not super complex, but it's also pretty cool. I, I I even think that's a good idea to do, and you can tell which ones are pure and which ones aren't just based on how they flower. I, you know, something I appreciate about you, dude, and, and working with the regs and stuff, especially, man, is like you got males around all the time. I see cats, though, cut them down as soon as they start seeing yeah. them. And like for me, bro, like it's so easy to just to separate a, a male. For You know, if you've got this face, right? Some yeah. of them got this face. But if you can separate a male and just do some brushing, bro, like why not, dude? Why not get some seeds out of that shit, dude? You know, you know I tried keeping the bonnet male for – uh, years and I actually gave it away to Radio Ridge so they can pass it to other breeders that want it to work with. But um, I don't know that they ever did. That's the thing, bro. Is you keep cuts like it's good to keep a cut, bro. But as soon as you yeah. fucking get locked up and your homies like got an infestation or something, bro, and your shit's gone. It's good to have a seed of some kind. Maybe you don't get that particular expression back the way you want it, but at least you got a jumping off point. But my bad. Forget we Here's got. That's a good questions. question for you. Does Chucky have bottoms on? Dog? Stand up, fam. <laughs> Whoa, bro! You better watch out, bro. I swole out here, fam. Yeah, who are swole? What are you like six ten? 
I'm fucking big motherfucker, bro. You are a big motherfucker. That's right. But uh, so we I got. You have males we, around you all the time from uh, the Don. The hey, Don is on. I've been to the Don's Mazola parties. He should be <laughs> well. He's well aware of having males. You know, he's a good guy. I like D. D is he's not bad, right? He's a not fucking bad. man, dude. Don't ever, you know, if it wasn't for D, I wouldn't be here right now. If it, you know what? If it wasn't for D, the Marines wouldn't say Semper Fi. Fact. Hey, D's bailed me out of jail. D's gave me advice when I needed when I got divorced. Yep. He taught me how to be a better father. Yeah. How to be a better grower. How to respect people better. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, hustling in the game can can fucking turn you abrasive, bro. Make you, I don't know, bro. Turn you into a hard ass motherfucker sometimes. Anyway, I think High and Lonesome had a question for you too, if I remember. I want to make sure we get that in. Find I find it in the Discord or somewhere in there. I fucking get lost. I'm going you through. We're going lost. to work in yeah, yeah, here it is. Here it is. Has Chucky ever grown an auto that stacks up to top shelf traditional flower? See, this is a tricky question. 100% transparency. I fuck around and give y'all jokes all the time. But I say it like this, bro. If you take a pack of regs, like traditional reg pack, right? Or film, yeah. whatever. Like most of the time, I don't know if you can speak on this, but when you pop a pack of anything, really, there's always going to be a plant in there or two, maybe for the most part, unless you're cookie fam, but you get everything's a fucking winner, dude. Yeah, like, every, every time. Every yeah. time. But in a pack, bro, you're going to find a plant or two in there that's not the greatest, right? Yeah. I look at autos like this. In a pack of autos, if you pop the same amount, sometimes you got to pop a few more than like you would a normal pack. I'll be for real. But you will find the best auto in there will be close, comparable to maybe the worst plant you find in a traditional pack. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. And, and I also will say this. You know, they are definitely comparable to like cookie stuff, bro. Like, or wreck weed. I, you know, I've Yeah, for sure. There. Now, you are you going to get weed? That your your heady the most headiest weed that like you know some like H and L or or whatever is gonna be like this is it bro probably not because that's there's not enough work in them they need people yeah. like H and L and people like that to work them further you know just yeah, like he should start an auto company is what he needs to do next bro yeah he he can speak on sick. that yeah yeah he uh but but. Yeah, I mean, your worst, your best auto is going to be like your worst plant. You probably, you know what I mean? But I yeah. will say this, like, I get surprised all the time by them, bro. When I when I did fuck with them, I, I would get surprised on a regular basis with them. You know, anyway. Oh, shit. We're dropping the weed, bro. Anyway. Dropping the weed. That's party, pal. Let's, let's hit some more of these questions. Nothing yeah, about we'll me. Uh, if you have the option, S1, F1. BX, which and why, pros and cons, why regard or with regarding with regards to breeding. So maybe I could speak on this a little. Speak on it. Preach. So BX and S1s is when you want to lock something in, right? Yes. F1 is when you want to move forward mostly. Yes. Correct. I mean, that's all I got really. I, know, learned that, I mean, that's, that's, yeah. Um, I'd say S1s for making the money, seeing recessives, <laughs> BX1 for m- making better money than F1s, and then F1s if you want to kill your company. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So there you go. Autos if you want to make a bag, bro. Yeah. If you want to make your money back, autos on all the new growers. There you go. No. <laughs> yeah. I mean, basically. Oh, here you go. Here's a good question. Chucky, what do you think of Kentucky going medically legal? I mean, it's like anywhere, right? Like you're still looking at years of probably waiting around and them dicking you around for, you know, whatever. I mean, I think it's great, dude, because like it is, I think it's 21 or 22 illnesses or, or uh, I'm not good at this kind of conversation or, you know, talking about medical problems. Long story short, like if you got cancer, terminal illnesses, things like that, mm-hmm. uh, you know, you can be on this list. I think it's kind of silly, though. Last time I checked, you had to have a care, you or your care provider 
has to drive out of state and can bring back up to eight ounces legally. You got to have the, you know, all your proof of everything. Jesus. So like, it's, it's like, what you know, these people are like dying and shit and you know, yeah. they, they need it now and not tomorrow or in a week or what. And you're literally just driving over from what I understand. And maybe I'm wrong in this guys, but from what I read that it's literally, you're just driving to, uh, I guess a medical facility and just picking up and it's literally driving back. So it's like, why can't we, have some medical system to ship them to it. People are buying this THA seaweed or whatever. Be yeah, yeah, all the yeah. shit like, bro. I mean, it's a joke, bro. But I, I think yeah, it's great. Bro. But for me and what I came from and my background, it, it didn't really, you know. I mean, it's not really any affecting of like what I did or or would have affected what I did at the time. I don't think. All right, let's do let's do one more question and we can save the rest for the next one. Yep, it's cool. All right, if, man. If we uh, bring you back, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. See how your mom does with uh, bugging us. Well, let's see what we got a good one in here first. Uh, maybe while we're we're looking for a good question, do you got any cool projects coming up? Do you got what you? But you, I know you're doing this big overhaul and doing a maybe going <laughs> a different direction. Uh, <laughs> yeah, from, quite a big overhaul, yeah. You know, but yeah. What, maybe you could speak on that a little bit. Any plans? Any drops coming up? Um, so we have we have some seeds that Miss Jill just sent in. We got we got the the Space Queen stuff from her. There's some pretty cool stuff in there. Um, what else we got coming in? I don't know. I mean, we still have the Blue and Cross stuff. Um, there's the sale still going on right now. So go check it out. Um, I'm, when I get unlazy and get back to doing the site stuff instead of cleaning up my house, um, maybe I'll put it back up to the normal price. But I haven't really remembered yet. Um, what else do we got? Yeah, um, I don't know. I'm going to have to do some fem work next because, I mean, for years people associated me with fem stuff. And then I started doing regular stuff. And nobody wants regular stuff. So back <laughs> to fem stuff, you know? Um, I don't know if I'm going to do blue fem stuff because it's like really I'm just burning it to the ground with blue. But um, fuck, I don't know. I think you should get risky, man. You should try some stuff. I'll be honest. I've tried some, some modern stuff that's all right. I mean, you could, if you find the right you know, the right stuff, you could do something cool, you know? I don't know, bro. Maybe... Yeah, I mean, there, there's some good stuff. I mean, I just don't like the taste of a lot of cookies and, like, sherb stuff, but, like, the sherb cream pie stuff that the spindle had was really good, so we used that and some stuff, and... It, yeah, like, I don't know. I'm particular. Maybe yeah. maybe back to strawberry. I don't know. Need to do fem stuff, though. Whatever you're doing, I'm for it, bro. I mean, if people want... If you want a chance to get in on <clears throat> some of Matt's new drops coming up his new work or some of his old stuff and you want to save a dollar or two join the discord there's a 50 dollars yeah. tier in there for all you guys and gals out there that want to save some money every two to three months matt takes that monthly payment and does a big bundle and sends it out where you get a lot of his new stuff can illuminati drops from Pac, h and l a bunch of a bunch of other guys in the discord and it, also if you want to go check out girt by seeds if you're in australia you can check out uh what is it a riot seeds in europe right seed co europe yes gold cut yes. gold cut he's gonna have some um uh uh some of uh pack um goat farm and high and lonesome stuff too soon uh out in europe yep. and uh girt by seeds is getting some more of the blue and cross stuff too yeah so don't forget yeah. lftd seeds if if matt's may be sold out yeah um, he, he carries a lot of other stuff too. So yes, please check him out. He's a good well, friend. L F T D genetics or L F T D. I always get it wrong, bro. I, I think both. Bro. I think I he even made another account because I kept screwing it up. He's like, yeah. oh, I can, I can, is I that, that nice? Of course, is that yeah. nice? I mean, and if you're interested in, in any of the stuff that H and L or Pac and them were working on, man, they got them in the Discord, bro. That they're always yeah. talking about stuff, and, and, and you know, if you want to get in on that early, that's the place to be, bro. Yeah, I think even Bitter made some um, strawberry cough, uh, blue and cross stuff, or maybe it's blue bonnet. I don't remember blue and yeah. cross. So yeah, so that's going to be available in the Discord somehow, some way. We'll figure it out. Yep, yep. I yeah, was forget about Kronzo too. Yeah, He's Kronzo's weird, in there. Yeah, go check him out. It's I think what is it a, a pick and lick dot com. I always get it get it wrong, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I, I'm, bro, I don't even know how to, fl I barely got on here with you in this podcast. I know, it took a while. I don't know how to, I don't know how to spell. I, I was on Hooked on Phonics, didn't complete it. You, you, know. you should be ashamed that your mother had to come do the connection for you, though. We Hold click on. The link. It's not that hard. Hold on one second. She's yelling for me right now. Just pizza rolls. Fuck. <laughs> Damn. Little Geno's. Shit's bomb. 
anyways. All right, last question, guys. Yeah, yeah. Let's pick one here real quick. Um, we've already answered the goals. Uh, let's see. Durago or Dino Grow, I can't, whatever, fuck, man. Where to find info on certain strains? I'm growing some Sub <clears throat> sub Rob and some Matt and Lee. I'm not finding any info besides your YouTube videos from before 20 promo. I didn't see anything in the codex either. Thanks. Yeah, so the codex is all the old strains, and it's like a, a list of that. So like, we're not even putting my stuff in there. Um, that's just for old clones, and I'm, I haven't worked on it in a while, and I really need to because it was built for that purpose, and it's amazing for it. Um, uh, as far as this, the the Discord, you can there's a search function. You can type in sub rob, and there's a lot of talk about it there. Or, or Mad Elite, same kind of thing. Both of, I mean, sub rob isn't that underground. You can also hit him up. Um, uh, C trip rob, C trip underscore rob, I think, or maybe it's just C trip rob on Instagram. Hit him up. Um, Mad Elite, you can't hit him up. He's a hidden man. Um, he's a kept man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, he has some of the best chem work that's ever been done. And um, I, I can yeah. speak on both of them real quick if you want. Yeah, to go ahead, please do. Grow, growing them right now, I guess. And <laughs> uh, so, the, for, for 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 yeah, Matt's right. Rob's is, is a great guy. He he's not on like this. Oh, I'm a breeder bullshit. If yeah. You know, if you have questions, talk to him. He's in the Discord. He's on Instagram. I talk to him on both on a pretty regular basis. Uh, he's a great guy. He'll yeah. ask anything you need to know. Um, as far as uh, Skank Dog in particular, uh, that thing is fucking amazing, bro. If I was yeah. a breeder, I ain't even like bullshit. If I was a breeder, one of the uh, expressions I found out of one pack, like, dude, I, I'm hitting this to everything, bro, or hitting stuff to it, whatever. Yeah. It's, it, I can't describe it because it, I would the best way I can describe it is a raunchy, rancid, used coffee ground smell that's got a skunk, maybe a little skunk to it, a little mm -hmm. tiny bit of mint, and it's just kind of like this sharpness to it. And maybe that's the you know the sour coming through, this the skunk. All I don't know, yeah. bro. I you know it's been years since I've smoked some of the, that that kind of shit, so it's like hard to really wrap my brain around it. But and they all kind of exhibited exhibited those uh, flavors out of the pack yeah. of pop. Uh, the structure is where they varied um, and the ease of grow, I would say. The one that I had is super dense. Some of the, you've seen some of the pictures, maybe the yeah. beautiful nugs. Uh, grew fucking beautiful. Yeah. Like under a hundred, let me, let me put it this way. I, I grew it under a hundred watt light for about basically its whole life until about the last four weeks of its life. And I put it under a big dog, big light, but great plants and even the other ones after I, I ran out of that i got a little bitty bit and i'm sending some samples off or giving some samples away uh but i want to crack those open and smoke the rest of it because i like it so much but yeah the uh and i can't speak on the ssh or whatever uh sssdh yeah, I, I, yeah. He was rob's been talking about me with that one a little bit but I, I i ain't grown that one but uh and then the other one what was the other one he was talking asking about the uh it was a skank Mad dog elite. and oh the mad elite so yeah. the Mad Elite, you're probably not going to find a lot of conversation on it in the Discord because it was such a limited drop. That there's and a very prior to that, it was it was like seven, eight years, nine. <laughs> it was, yeah. it was a, lot, a long time ago. Yeah. So when with, when it was all made, a limited drop. So there could be very well most of the people that bought it weren't even in the Discord for starters. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure Discord was a thing. Shout out Herbs SD and a couple other people. I think are uh, I know yeah. Herbs is on, is either finished or run of I think the Resurrections the Kim Kim one the Kim D one. Yeah, um, I'm not sure. Uh, I know I, me personally. I got uh, the both the Resurrection the mobile one and the Kim D going. I lost the majority of my uh, Kim uh, the Kim ones. They dampened off a little bit. I it was my fault. I think you know I fucked around got high fucking around with this chick. She, she, big titties, you know. Yeah. But yeah. that. Um, I'm growing them right now, and they're looking killer, dude. I haven't smoked those yet, though, that one. But, yeah, I mean, it's, you're not going to find info on them, bro, because, honestly, there's not a lot of people that got you Hit me up in the Discord. Yeah, I'll, I'll answer anything about it there. Yeah. Smoked yep. a lot of it, grown some of it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, bro. Well. All right. Well, fun. Is Matt, this it? Is, do, you, do, you, do you think you'll get a model, modeling contract out of this? Is it possible? I'm fucking hoping somebody, should, like, Let's me know, like sees my passion, bro. I got so much passion, bro. He's got passion. Unleash me on these guys, bro. I'm fucking coming for everybody, dude. I don't need y'all's goddamn for everybody money. this year. 
this year or next year now next year now whatever next year. bro yeah I, you know i don't need your fucking cuts i don't need your money just support us bro let us give us what we need to take over the game me and matt and crew <laughs> Everybody yeah, out yeah. a thousand fold shout out everybody. We're about to change the game, the landscape. It's going to another level, bro. Sponsors galore. It could be galore. it could be sandals, crocs, dildos, shirts, whatever. Dildos. Whatever you got. Glass makers who now make dildos. Shout out spindle, bro. We don't have Yeah, shout out spindle. That's my boy. Yeah. All right. All right, man. I appreciate it. Right, it's appreciate been a pleasure. Yep. All right. Until next time. Peace. Uh hopefully next week. I think we should be next week. We'll see how. So it goes. Yep. All right. Peace, brother. Later. Want to sit at the table with the syndicate? Check out our Patreon in our link tree or description below. Our merch site is officially live. We have all sorts of shirts, hoodies, and goodies to sort you out, and shipping is super fast, and most importantly, the quality is top notch. I've been saving old designs for years for this purpose, so please check it out. Syndicategear.com. We also have an underground syndicate discord where we get together and solve old strain history together daily. It's an amazing community of learning away from IG and it's an amazing resource for old catalogs and knowledge. We hope you join our union of readers and growers. Come check it out.